Hi, it's Rob Nelson, thinker about and practitioner of collaborative project-based learning and collaborative assessment. Welcome to vlog three in the great collaborative project adventure. You know, it seems like an awfully long time since the last time I posted a vlog, so it's definitely time to get back into it. And I've got some really awesome things that I want to share with you and to discuss over the next year. This isn't the vlog, I have to say, that I'd planned to start the year with, but it picks up on a theme that I spoke about in my um, Thought for the Week series on the Rob Nelson Education website, and I'll put a link to that website in the comments down below at the end of the video. <coughs> and the theme is this, it's gratitude. Now, why is this important? Because in the life of your team, in the life of your project, there will be times when things get really hard. There's, let's not sugarcoat this. Things don't go the way that you planned, and you're looking ahead, and getting to the end of where you want to go, frankly, it seems impossible. It's in the too hard basket. There are so many things that you need to do, and you're not sure how to do them. You're not even sure where to start. And it's like the whole of life is turning into an absolute disaster for you. Everywhere you look, not just in your team or in your project, that everything is turning into a disaster. And it feels, you know, if we're honest, like you've got nothing to be grateful for. But I want to put this to you. Yes, you do have plenty to be grateful for. You have the people in your team and the people around you outside the team. You know, they don't want to see you fail. They would much rather you succeeded. And they will be sending you mental vibes, whether or not you consciously feel them. They want you to do well. They want you to achieve the things that you've set out to do, the things that you've said that you're going to do. And the vast majority of them, whether it's in ways big or small, will do things that will help you to reach that point. You know, if they see you struggling with something, and it's something where they think they can help, instead of waiting to be told, or perhaps better still, asked to help, they will step in and they'll share their knowledge and their skill, not because they expect to get paid for it or because they think there's some other tangible return is going to come to them they do it simply because it's the right thing to do you know, it's like they're paying it forward knowing that at some point in the future they're going to have a tough time and you are likely to step in and do something to help them so be grateful for those people who just step up, do what's necessary. Be grateful for the people who treat you with respect. Now, there'll be times when you say or do things that when you look back with hindsight, you say, how could I ever have thought that or said that or did that? But I did. And it would have been so easy for whoever was around me at the time to just leap on that, to pile in on me and tell me what a stupid thing that was to do or to say. But they didn't. They treated it as a learning moment, as an opportunity to say, hey, Robbie, what you did here, that was really good. Don't quite understand this bit. Have you thought about it? Could you try? So even when you've done something, you think, well, that wasn't clever. The people around you will still be able to see, you know, there was something positive in what you did and something great that you can take from it. <coughs> be grateful for the day. Another day, another dollar. Common saying, but it's not just all about money. Another day is another opportunity to be awesome. To decide before you put your feet on the floor 
as you get out of bed in the morning what kind of day you want to have and to make a statement to yourself whether or not you speak it out loud doesn't matter the important thing is that you've made that statement here's the kind of day that I'm going to have these are the positive things that I'm going to do in it because when you make those kind of statements especially if you make them often enough they actually start to come true because you believe them so be grateful for all the positive things that you're capable of doing for the things that you know the things you're able to do the things that you're able to share with other people be grateful for the opportunity to step outside to step away from the work that you're doing and just take a few minutes to to be out there to be in nature to breathe the fresh air smell the smells see the sights touch things hear things to not think every waking minute about the project and the team but just to take a step back and to think about yourself and about how you feel and how you can build on those good feelings that you have and what you might want to think about doing to deal with some of the not so positive things that you've got in mind because remember what you think about the more you think about it the more likely it is to come true so you do have an awful lot to be grateful for and i really want you to grab hold of those things and to celebrate those things and to experience those things every day because that's going to make you happier in yourself and the happier you are in yourself by the way the more productive you're going to be within your project team and for the project that you're working on in the next vlog vlog number four i'm going to go back and answer the question that i ended last year with what do you do if you're in a project team situation so you, you've ended up in this team and you're looking around and it's like everybody's looking for somebody else to be the leader and you're hoping it's not you because you don't want to be the leader you think you're going to be a brilliant follower but you don't want to be the leader and you're in a situation where maybe everybody else who's in the team has got the same thoughts so that's what i'm going to speak about in vlog number four so make sure you click the like and the subscribe buttons down below as i say i'll put the link in the comments to the rob nelson education website so you can check out all of my various thoughts for the week have a great day and look forward to talking with you again in the next vlog catch you later